Hi there, welcome to today's Clevia Talk here on Clevias for Africa. My name is Marnie. Fungus gnats. What are they? What do they do to your clevias? And how can you prevent them from damaging your clevias? Let's have a look. Okay, the first thing, what are fungus gnats? Um, they're also called little midgets, or in Afrikaans we say mughis. And the closest I can explain what they look like is like a very, very small mosquito, probably two millimeter in size. Uh, they're black or a very dark color, and they are especially attracted to small seedlings that have just been planted into a new medium. Okay, now what harm can these fungus gnats do to your clevias? Okay, the first thing is that the name says it all, fungus gnats. So the gnats themselves, the adults or the flying insects, they carry fungus on their feet. Good fungus and bad fungus. But some of that fungus is a very bad fungus that can really kill your seedlings if it gets into the medium or if it gets onto your seedlings. So that's the first, the first danger for these little insects. The second thing is they lay eggs, about 300 eggs. Each adult fungus gnat can lay 300 eggs. They hatch and these larvae um, live in the clivia medium. Uh, so it eats the rotten or the composted material, but it also eats the small little hairs on the clivia roots. I call them hair roots. I don't know the exact bioli but I don't know the exact biological term uh, for them, but the very small roots, hair roots, that is what they also eat. So the first thing is that they put these seedlings back really badly when they eat these little roots because the seedlings need these hair roots to absorb nutrients uh, and water as well. So the second thing is they, they create small little wounds which are ideal place for these fungus to enter your clivia seedlings. And I suspect that a lot of the seedlings that we get that die, a lot of seedlings that get sick, a lot of seedlings that rot are a direct result of these fungus gnats. So the homework that I've done, the people that I've spoken to, everything I've read up, not only for clevias, but a lot of other crops that people grow, these fungus gnats are a big pest, especially to your seedlings. Okay, lastly, how do we treat them? If you see them on your seedlings, chances are very good that they've already laid, egg, laid eggs and that there's already larvae in the medium. So there's two things. You must treat your medium with an insecticide to get rid of the larvae in the medium. So there I would uh, suggest a very good contact insecticide. I would drench the medium with that to get rid of them. The second thing is that there's potentially harmful fungus in the medium. So you need a good uh, contact or systemic Fungicide that you can treat the medium and the seedlings with as well. Those are the two things. And then the third thing is you need to make sure that these fungus gnats don't visit your seedlings anymore. So what I've personally done are two things. The first thing is I've sprayed um, a contact insecticide onto the medium on top as well as onto the seedlings. The other thing I've done, it was just a test, is... You get these fly traps, these sticky fly traps that you pull out. They've got a little spiral and I'm going to show you just now. So I just went and I bought some of these and I hang them all around the, the, the clivia seedlings. And you will not believe how many of these fungus gnats I've caught onto those sticky um, spiral fly catchers. Um, so you can also use the yellow, you get these yellow sheets sticky sheets that you also pull the sort of like a, a film off it and uh, exactly the same purpose um, and they say apparently the yellow color is great 
it lures these little uh, gnats to the yellow color and then when they go and sit onto it they get stuck there and uh, that's how you you catch them but i must say the fly traps have worked very well uh, here in south africa i've struggled i couldn't i see there's one place online that you can buy them uh, but they're expensive because you need quite a few of them but uh, you can also import them but uh, maybe the fly fly traps is a good alternative so let me go and show you quickly what i've caught in one week's time from when i've hanged them up Okay, as you can see, we've got the seedlings here. So what I've done here, and uh, so let me just get past this here, is I've just hang them up here. I really hope I can focus. I'm just going to move slowly down. Now all the little black dots that you see there are these fungus gnats. Now there's a, let me just zoom in a little bit. You'll see there's here and there, there's a fly or a mosquito. Ugh can't get it to focus now let me just get this there we go so it rained last night a bit so you could see there's still some water but yeah there you can see i'm just going down here um, most of these small little dots are these fungus gnats there's one or two moths and a mosquito but i would say 99 percent of what you see here or the fungus gnats and uh, I mean at some places it is just crazy how many of them are sitting stuck here on this so all these ones and they literally as you can see hundreds of them they have all actually they all would have reached my seedlings and they would have laid eggs in there so I mean I don't want to know what damage all these things no wonder we get these seedlings that get rotten and that fall over okay so yeah there we go those are the sticky fly traps let me just show you the the logo i think i bought them at uh, it was always called plastic land it's now um something more i can't remember the name anyway it's called the fly ribbon and you get different types the only thing I want to mention to you is these things are sticky and they've got a glue that when it gets onto your fingers you're really going to struggle to get it off. So what I do is I just take these rubber gloves, uh, the cheap ones you can buy them at the pharmacies, Dischem, wherever, and uh, I just uh, put them on my hands when I work with this stuff. So when I'm done I just take off the rubber gloves and I throw them away. So that's just a tip after i struggled for half an hour to get the glue off my hands the first time after i i hang these things up so there you go fungus gnats what they are what damage they cause to your plants and how you can prevent them from getting to your plants and hurting especially your seedlings i hope you enjoyed this video please go and like it and share it with your clever friends and also please go and subscribe to our youtube channel until next time and bye-bye.